Hello everyone. This video will introduce to you the latest Dolphin Data Recovery Assistant Pro, and this one is software only data recovery assistant tool. This tool is not used to recover lost data directly, but it helps users to recover lost data. Now we can check the details for this product. So this is official link for this product. Users can order this tool here. So it's one software only data recovery assistant tool. So users just need to order here and then users can get one download link directly. Then users can simply install the software and get this to registered and activated and then start using it immediately. Now we can see that this tool contains these six modules. All of these modules are very helpful to recover data. It's very helpful. And it helps to enhance the data recovery efficiency and enhance the data recovery success rate. Now we can go to the software here. We can see that this is the invalid files software module. So all users need to do is to select the folder. Users wish to delete the invalid files and keep the good files only. Users just need to select the folder and then check and then delete. Delete the invalid files and then users can say, send this kind of good folders to users. The second module is the extension. This one is also very helpful. You know, in many cases, when the file extensions are modified. Sometimes it's modified automatically by the computer system, and sometimes the extensions are modified manually, you know, by some malicious change. Maybe if your computer sometimes got infected by viruses, and the extensions will be changed as well, so as they, at this time, users can use this software to select the parts containing the wrong extensions and click check and then modify. So click modify, the software will help to change all the wrong extensions to the normal original extensions. So users can open the files normally. The third module is the long standard drive image. Non-standard sector sizes, we can see it contains the 518, 520, 522, 528. So these are the long standard sector sizes. And this image is to convert the long standard drives with these non-standard sizes to the standard sizes. You know, here we can image to device, we can image to file, and the image file has extension of IMG. So after image to device or image to file, the target device the target image file will have standard sector size of 512. So this one is also very helpful. If the drive or image file the, or the image file has non-standard sector size, then the data recovery tools or software in the market, you know, they cannot analyze or image or extract lost data 
from drives with the long standard sector sizes. So it's very important to image the drive with non standard sector sizes to one target drive or to file and convert the sector sizes normally to normal standard sector size. So this one is very important to use. The fourth one, okay, this is a repair database. Database repair software module. It's very easy to use this one. All need, users need to do is to select the corrupted database and then select the parts to save the repaired database. And usually this software is to repair the CQ Siever database. And here users can right click and add files. Here to add files is to add the database backups. When users have backups, then it is very easy to get the corrupted database repaired. So this place is used for users to add the backup of the databases. So this one is very easy. Remember, this one is mainly for CQ Server database repair. Next, we can see it's read analysis. For read analysis, here we can see it's log file. We can generate one very helpful and important log file. And this file is mainly for professional read data recovery engineers. Because, you know, it's not easy to, uh, to analyze the read drives to get the necessary parameters like the block size, block order, and the, uh, the parity DNA, and the disk order, and other types of read parameters. You know, only if we have those kind of necessary read, read parameters, we can rebuild the reads and then get the NOS data back. So this one is very important to generate one engineering log file. All the parameters, all the necessary parameters will be stored in this log file. The software will generate for users. After users have this log file, then it is easy to get those necessary parameters from this log file. Maybe just takes several minutes to dig those parameters. Now we can come here to check those necessary parameters. Now we can see here, so all these parameters will be stored in the log file. Okay, will be stored in this log file and the software Will, many, will be many used to generate this log file containing this information. Anyway, to get this information, it requires users to have some good knowledge of the file system and have some knowledge of the read types and the read structures. After users have that kind of basic knowledge, then it's very easy to get these parameters from this engineering log file. So all users need to is to select the read drives here. All read types are supported. So users just need to select the read, uh, read drives here right click to add files or add the devices here and then click OK. Then this software 
will help to generate this engineering log file. Okay, so this is how we use the read analysis analysis um, software. And file rename, file rename, and this one uh, is also very helpful. Why? You know, in some cases, the MFT is damaged, or, you know, um, in many cases, the booting sectors and the system information, the partition table, you know, they are corrupted. And sometimes maybe we need to recover a uh, lost data from scratched, scratched surfaces. And we may lose a lot of the file headers, we lose the file tables, and you know we just can get we can get only part of the files. And at this time, these files they don't have the original names. These files they just have some names, maybe of uh, dates and time, and sometimes maybe nothing. It's just the raw data. Or sometimes, you know, we recover raw data or recover the lost files by file types. So at this time, we need to use the file rename. How? And here we have the setting. We can see to use the file rename, we have the date, shade. This is shade name is usually contained within the Excel. You know within the Excel and there are many shades and each shade have one name. We can extract the shade name and use the shade name as the file name. Or we can extract the content of the raw data of the raw files and extract the content to be used as the file name or the date or the size so users can take any of them so usually we use the content sometimes users use the date because maybe some some users some users wish to have the files maybe generated in the latest date so users can use the date it's easy to find out all your wanted files easily. So this is the file rename. For raw data, it's very, very helpful to get the wanted files digged out, okay? So this is a file rename. We can use file rename together with the setting. Here is how we set the file rename to get the files renamed okay this one is very easy and these are the six software modules contained in the dolphin data recovery assistant pro and this can help all the all data recovery engineers to enhance their data recovery success rate and efficiency thank you for watching this video and if you wish to order this product, you can go to the dolphindatalab.com product. And this is the purchase link. It's very 